So, if you're one of the very few that are unaware that a rewrite anime has been announced, well, it's coming out. So, there you go. The fans of the visual novel that have been loving this visual novel for a very long time, they're getting their anime adaptation. It was announced today after the series, you know, Charlotte just ended. So, I'm just gonna say, I, I, I'm just going to be real here. The ending of this episode, it irks me quite a bit. Please give me a few moments to explain. The amnesia card that was pulled at the end of this episode, it's not the point that it's cliche, it's the meaning behind the amnesia that really makes me upset. The reason why is because throughout majority of Charlotte, you is our main character. Like, he is our main character. He's gotten a lot of development. I mean, he's changed a lot in these past couple episodes. And, I mean, his mental breakdown when he went edgy, that was a really good episode. And I like seeing him, uh, seeing him like that. It was one of the best episodes of Charlotte. But then, we get this episode at the end, the finale, to where you forgets everything. And I don't know how many really realize what this actually means, so let me clarify. All the character development and characterization you has gotten throughout the entire season, this entire season, all the development he has gotten was just thrown off the table into the trash can. That's exactly what happened. He regressed as a character. He didn't progress, he regressed. The finale lets us know he lost everything. He lost his memories. And so he doesn't remember shit. He went backwards as a character. So that's what really bugs me with the final moments of the episode, just seeing the amnesia card. It wasn't because it was just cliche. It was because I thought Charlotte would have had a little bit more decency not to pull that card to begin with. Because, see, the past the majority of the entire season. I've been saying that time travel, time reversal, and stuff like that's going to be one of the main key central points of the finale. Everything's going to end out to be like all happy and jolly, like, yay, everything's good again. And that's kind of how it was at the end, even though there was, you know, poo, poo died, but it was still all happy and jolly now and you or a couple, even though now was out of character completely because there was no build up to that romance. And I'm like, what the fuck? And what really upsets me is, you know how I said, like, they're gonna use time reversal, time travel, stuff like this, and maybe even healing. I even mentioned that. Well, I didn't think Charlotte would go down to the level of using a cliche like amnesia. Something that degrades it, in my eyes, further than it already was. Everybody kind of getting revived again, it would have made me upset, I'm not gonna deny that. So all those episodes that focused on you were useless. Really, it was. If you like you as a character, you liked his development, you liked the way he was going, and if you loved his voice actor, and you know me fangasming on his voice actor and the way his development was in the past couple episodes ago, I think around episode 7 or 8, then yeah, that, that was meaningless. It was straight up meaningless because of this finale. This episode felt like an entire season, a 12 to 13 episode season, compressed into one fucking episode. It's like the writers ran out of time, and they're like, okay, we only have 13 episodes, we cannot make this a 24 to 25 episode series, or we cannot even have a season 2, so let's compress an entire season into one fucking episode. And that's what this was. The entire focus of you going around all over the world to get powers and, you know, take everybody's powers could have been an entire season. And, see, if they would have focused an entire season that was like 12 to 13 episodes, even 20-something episodes, on you going around gaining these powers, and then slowly having his mental breakdown through the course of his journey, I would have been able to stomach the amnesia card a lot more. It's the way the execution was done that just irks me, because it felt like this episode was way too fast, and even then, it was still something that shouldn't have been able to happen, because there's one lucky thing after another throughout this entire episode, plot convenience, for you to be able to get powers a lot better. Like, what is the chances that soon as the episode begins, you find an ability user that is better than Pooh at finding people's abilities? What are the fucking chances out of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of people with abilities? What are the chances? Very slim. 
but it, it's not that. It was just one thing after another that led to him to be able to try to do this goal. And I mean, if you were to go around hunting down ability users, of course you'll get these type of powers eventually. And that goes back to what I said earlier. The episode compressed an entire season worth of content in one episode. And th if this was spread out through a bunch of episodes, five to seven episodes, imagine how good this would have been. Like, what if those slice a lot filler scenes we got at the first part of Charlotte, you know, the first four to five episodes, that if you actually take a moment to think about it, were straight up fucking pointless, because the characters that got development, like, the fucking singer girl, I can't even remember her name because she is that useless to the series, and along with Glasses Boy and his comedy that just stale as shit, and... Seeing how the first couple episodes of Charlotte were focusing on these characters, but then they have no real main importance to the ending conclusion, those episodes were useless. They could have took an entire episode just to let us know, like, oh yeah, he has pillage and all that, like they did. They didn't need to waste multiple episodes that they were the exact same thing every week. And it felt like those episodes could have been used for this finale. Like, what if they would have taken about two or maybe three episodes of that to focus in on this finale right here? Like, you know, you going around the world, going to the Philippines, going to freaking Mexico, going to China, going to USA, going to Canada, going to, you know, Europe. You know, all sorts of locations we could have got to see that in multiple episodes. Not just one episode that was condensed down in, like, an entire one episode that could have been, like, 12 episodes. No. So, my, my main core issue here is that the lack of episodes is what is really the downfall of this series. There's few episodes, too few of episodes. Like, there would have been more episodes, if this would have been a 24 episode series, I think I would not be complaining like I am. But one thing I want to mention too, is some of the things that really just agitate my mind right now, because the entire bit with Nal's brother, Yes, I see that Nal's brother is fine. He's listened to the music at the ending credits of the episode, but that was just, like, completely fucking gone. Like, we, we didn't even find out why he got healed. Like, okay, we can assume, from what we can understand from the scene, is that the singer came around, she sung to him, he's fine. But how? Why? Why was she there? Why did she come there? Hugh has no memories, he has amnesia, his character's back to ground zero, and so he's regressed to a state that's even worse than where he started. So, what the fuck? Like... How did the singer get there, and why did she go there? It, it doesn't even let us know that. But then it doesn't even go into the plot point of why she was blind. It doesn't even try to go into that. And it doesn't even try to go into, you know, different things about her entire band. So, there, there were some things that just felt like it was cut out of the story. And then, let's go back to the earlier portions of Charlotte. I think episode 2 or 3, there was a scene, I, I don't know if it was ever clarified. So, if I could be wrong here. So, take this part with a grain of salt. But I remember earlier on, like around episode 2, maybe episode 3, it, it was around there... I remember that Nao was getting bullied. You, you remember when Nao was in the hallway or whatever and she was getting punched? Like, you, we saw a scene where she was, like, getting bullied. And she's like, oh, it's nothing. And then I don't think we ever saw anything else of that later on. Unless I'm forgetting something. I could be. But still. <sighs> Anyways, I'm done. I, I, I am done. It just, I mean disappointment is the lack of episodes if it would have had more i think it would have been a lot better but seeing the way the cards are pulled at the very end with you losing all the memories and regressing back to point zero and just seeing how it was handled in just one episode it, it was something i was fearful of last week when i mentioned like how in the hell are they going to handle all these different plot points in just one episode and then it doesn't even also explain like you know what in the fuck was the Intel, uh, like, not intelligence, oh, what the fuck am I thinking? Who was the spirit inside of you? Because you went to sleep, and so that implies that there was another person controlling his body at that time. So who was controlling his body? It doesn't even let us know that. So, <sighs> tell me your thoughts, comments below. I can already sense a lot of you Chibits not liking this, what I just said, but I, I, I gotta be honest. I, I want to be honest, and that, that's my honesty. It was enjoyable, but that's my honest thoughts on this finale. It, it was building up into something very good, but a lot of wasted potential. So yeah, you have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.